welcome back to techno search in youtube channel so first of all for today we got a closer look at the block like the cinder block which the gpus are based on not, not the pcb but the shroud and this is for 1490 ti what would possibly for the 1490 ti we already saw this block how it looked like that four slot but here you can see it perfectly and there was like a third fan which was in the middle so yeah it looks pretty bulky and it had up to a total of 22 hit pipes which is like truly insane like this gpu if it had been launched it would be a pretty awesome gpu but rtx 490 ti won't be there anymore yeah because amd doesn't have a pretty high offering as of now so maybe that's why they cancelled it but yeah if they had launched it it would be pretty insane and they would be like rtx 1590 ti possibly if amd brings back like the competition but yeah let's it's just up to the mark but speaking of 1590 we already saw what it was based on and the early rumors which came from red gaming tech and we already know it based on blackwell which is their next generation architecture for servers like hopper and it's based on back blackwell but it had like 1590 is based on monolithic but there is it is based on 3 nanometer jd103 but lower end part gb107 will be monolithic but it will be based on 4 nanometer which is different and gb102 early die size 100 is probably chipset which will be for hpc and the, it will have jdria support for 24 gb of module which was leaked previously so yeah we already knew about it and with a high vram capacity that is 120 gb per gpu die uh, per module and 128 bit bus 3 gigahertz clock speed and it has over like two times compute compared to 4090 so yeah they are truly giving their all with rtx 50 series like two times the performance two times ray tracing intersection difference and performance and next gen omm and dmm and denoising accelerator so yeah 5090 without dlss will be a pretty based of a gpu compared to rtx 40 series when you compare it rtx 40 with rtx 30 they were just doubted it based on DLSS 3 but yeah 50 series won't be like that and speaking of that AMD spokesperson Lisa Su stated like more of the graphics card are coming for the RX Radeon graphics card are coming for the RX 7000 series and it's called enthusiast graphics card though RTX, RX 7900 XT and XTX are called ultra enthusiast so enthusiast will be RX 7700 and 7800 which goes with the leak which we knew like rtx 7800 xt was coming pretty soon so yeah it was being doubted that it is going to be coming so yeah let's just see how it goes but yeah it's pretty nice to see like new graphics card are coming low end graphics card are coming and let's see what the specs are because most of the specs for rtx 7800 has been leaked and yeah let's see and lastly for today we know that ai is a pretty big segment as of now major companies are doubting ai and they are investing on it for like 200 billion dollars for till 2025 and stuff like that but yeah now a report comes out from china where graphics card are selling for seventy thousand dollars which is truly insane because yeah seventy thousand for a graphics card it's pretty pretty insanity and it is i think from nvidia's edge series but they are also buying up gaming gpus so there might be a possibility that the gaming card chips shortage will happen but we just need to see how things turns out because like amd is a joy to buy chips from and as you can see amd and like qualcomm is a joy to buy chips from 7.38 petaflops as you can see on the screen here this was like xfx 7900 xtx with 24 gb used for ai and stuff so yeah they are capable of doing it but yeah it is not recommended those servers gpus are recommended because ai gpus for nvidia was selling for as high as 20 70 000 bucks which is really insane but yeah i will keep you updated regarding this story and that's it from me today what do you think about the news sound of your thoughts in the comment section below like share and subscribe and i'll meet you in the next one peace out